Our other top story tonight, fire and destruction at an Indianapolis church. Up to 20 people were inside here as flames started burning a hole in the roof. Now, thankfully, everyone made it out safely. And our Emily Longnecker talked with the pastor tonight whose congregation is already planning to rebuild. This is my second home. It really is. I spend a lot of time here. Sunday afternoon, Pastor Eric Floyd spent hours picking through the rubble of his second home. The church where he's been pastor since April. It, it just proves that we have no control over anything in life. You know, we came here today expecting to have a nice crowd for family and friends. Uh, it didn't happen. Instead, about 20 people were inside the church sanctuary of Bethany Rembrandt Church Sunday morning when they spotted smoke coming out of the vents. Members thought it might be connected to the furnace they'd turned on the night before. I thought that maybe it was just uh, something burning off the elements for the first time. When the smoke got thicker, though, they got everyone outside. And within five minutes, the, the entire roof was on fire. It just happened so fast. It's a lot like watching your own house go down. Um, from seeing it start in one area and watching the flame go down the entire roof line. Uh, and then eventually just everything on fire. While the roof collapsed on this side, this side of the church was virtually untouched except for some smoke and water damage. And this might end up being where parishioners hold their services in the coming weeks. Ultimately, though, they say they're not worried, saying the church is not about the building, but the people in it. We can be the, you know, the phoenix that rises from the ashes. And in the hours after the fire, ashes were everywhere you looked. Faith is really going to be the only thing that keeps us encouraged. So that's what everyone here is holding on to, believing that even if they don't have an answer to the question why, God certainly does. And this just happened to be uh, in God's plan. I believe it's in his plan. Emily Longnecker, Channel 13, Eyewitness News.